Ladies and gentlemen, the Secretary General is going to designate Red as Honorary Ambassador for Green on the International Day of Happiness. <laughs> I'm glad that United Nations can give red a very good reason to go green. As a Secretary General of the United Nations, I'm happy to appoint you as our honorary ambassador for green. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for signing this uh, Plague with your official signature. Yes. Thank you. I have also signed this one. Let's work together uh, to make a future that is more peaceful, sustainable, and happy for all. Thank you. Thank you. Rather left, red, rather left, red, red, left, red, left, left, left. left. <laughs> Look at that, you got anything to design? Wing flaps red. Very good. We're here to honor the fact that RED is going to become the ambassador of the International Day of Happiness. That's one thing. We're also, we're also uh, you know, adding to the initiative number 13 of the 17 global initiatives to help our world of uh, affecting climate change the best we can on behalf of not just the human beings, but also the birds and every other species that lives on this great big marble we call Earth. What is International Happiness Day? It's a day of happiness and, celebra and celebrating that which is all that we have, this incredible nature all around us. And again, celebrating uh, the preservation of it, uh, celebrating the fact that we all still have an opportunity to do little things, whether it's recycling or reusing, uh, preserving, 
doing what you can, planting a tree, planting a seed, whatever it is for you to help out, that joy and happiness that Earth gives back to us is what we hope to infuse and put out there as well. I think it's really lovely to be able to use entertainment and the platform entertainment as education. Um, so if it means, um, you know, I mean, we're talking so much about the word angry today, and and, and we're turning it on its head and, and using it to talk about happiness. I think it's I think it's really a lovely a lovely idea, and also really positive, you know, and and to show kind of what a positive uh, movement um, we're we're here to support because this is. This is seriously no joke. It's an ideal partnership because Angry Birds is a global, global game. And people around the world love it. And so it's a chance for us to reach so many people and to really help to educate children because that's, that's an important thing that, that, that we have the ability to uh, hopefully do. It's an ideal partnership because, like the United Nations, it speaks to people around the world. Our movie does that, the brand does it, it connects with people. And the film takes place initially on an idyllic island called Bird Island that, that is clean, it's never been touched by anybody else, and these birds have taken care of it. And I think there's a real connection, and that's what we should all be striving for. Well, the Angry Birds come from, uh, from uh, a very beautiful island. They, have, they live in, in, in a, almost like a paradise on Earth. And so for them, um, uh, a healthy and vibrant Earth is very important. And for them, if we can make the planet green, that will certainly make them happy again. The UN and UNDP are so thrilled because we're partnering with Sony on the International Day of Happiness. And with the Angry Birds movie, it was the perfect opportunity to turn the main character of Andrew, Angry Birds, Red, to turn him green. And what that means is that everyone can take steps to address climate change. And the movie's going to promote it, the UN is going to promote it, and we're all going to come together to try to get young people to take action. I have the honor of introducing the incredibly talented stars of the Angry Birds movie, Jason Sudeikis, Maya Rudolph, and Josh Gad. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Hello. How you feel? Uh, we're supporting the United Nations to present our campaign of Angry Birds for a Happy Planet because I don't think there's anything that makes an angry bird happier than a, than a healthy planet, personally. Yep. You know, I, agree with that. I agree. The angry birds are gonna use their huge popularity to help the United Nations in their efforts to take action against climate change. At the United Nations, we have created a simple fun campaign asking people of all ages, all across the globe, to make the angry birds happy by taking climate action to help red go green. Ladies and gentlemen, our very own Angry Bird, Red. <laughs> now that the bird of the hour has arrived, can we commemorate this with a group <laughs> selfie? Everybody say cheese! United Nations celebrate International Day of Happiness by helping Red go green. But how? Walk everywhere. Mm. Nope. Use public transportation. Fire! Bing! Bang! Rip! Giblets! Save water. Don't spit in his mouth. And save energy by turning off the lights. Excuse me. Ow! And playing outside. Now, what will you do to help? Share your actions at AngryBirdsHappyPlanet.com and help the Angry Birds in the United Nations take urgent action on climate change. I 
have been talking with my friend Red, and he's angry. I don't think I have an anger issue. I think you got an anger issue. Many things make us mad. Mm. Poverty, hunger, climate change. But now we have a good reason to be happier. The world has set some global goals. The Sustainable Development Goals. They are a plan to end poverty, fight injustice, and combat climate change. This makes me happy. But Red and his friends are still angry. What do we do now? It's easy. Conserve water and save electricity. Take public transport. Plant a tree. Recycle. Care for our planet. Let's do it! This year, for the International Day of Happiness, help Red go green. Oh my God. Then we can all be happier, even the angry birds. Point made.